I've traveled and cooked all over the world, but I've truly fallen in love with this beautiful Mediterranean island, Mallorca. My name is Jeff Harder, and I'm an American chef. So let's get cooking. Hello and welcome to an American Chef in Mallorca. And today we're going to get a little wild and crazy. Yeah, remember those guys, Saturday Night Live, uh, Steve Martin? <laughs> well, I guess you probably have to be about 50 or older. Not saying that I am, not saying that I'm not, but uh, yeah, okay, so. Today we're gonna make a cheesecake, but that's where I'm getting a little crazy. So with a crust, you know, a lot of times you do it with cookies, uh, blend it with some butter, maybe a little sugar, you add a little cinnamon in there to give it a little more flavor, and a little salt. I always like some salt in my desserts. But today I'm adding pecans. I've toasted these pecans, there's about a cup there, and dates. So I'm actually three tablespoons of butter, and I'm gonna add dates in there. Um, you know, you kind of do that with raw type of, um, of baking or non-baking. Um, and also for sweetness so you don't have sugar. But I'm gonna get a little crazy and have a little bit of sugar and the dates and these, uh, and these pecans. And that is for the crust, okay? I'm gonna blend that and I'll show you that. And then for the cheesecake, of course, we want some whipped cream. We want Philadelphia, and the Philadelphia for cheesecake or for like a cream cheese frosting, you have to have it out like, it has to be at room temperature. It has to be out for a good hour. Uh, a lot of times it can uh, separate. Uh, you get the little chunks of it. I was doing a wedding here in Mallorca for a very famous chef I won't mention, but uh, he wanted to make his own carrot cake for the wedding cake and his uh, cream cheese frosting broke. Uh, it's kind of wild. But also I'll give you another little inside scoop here. So this uh, the chef, uh, I met his head chef who works for him. This guy's on TV and everything. And um, uh, this other chef wrote his three cookbooks and he got no credit for it. It's just crazy that stuff that uh, happens out there. You know, you have these hidden chefs um, the behind the scenes and then the celebrity chefs uh, get all that credit and everyone's behind them but I'm sure they've worked uh, very hard over the years to do that. Okay, so with Philadelphia I'm gonna add some leche condensada um, condensed milk but I'm going for maple syrup and that's why with the uh, with the pecans will be awesome and vanilla Okay, so it's kind of maple syrup vanilla cheesecake with dates and pecan crust. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Okay, first I'll have the cookies.
Okay, made the crust, super stoked about that. I've never had a pecan, but of course that's gonna go great with the maple syrup. Um, and then the sugar and the, um, the dates. And then I'm not pre-baking it, I think it should be fine. And this le the leche condensate, the condensed milk. Now for a little more sweetness and turch. So of course it's always better to use uh, you know, the fresh vanilla bean. Woo, it smells so good. It gives so much better, nicer, pure flavor. But if you don't have that little uh, vanilla essence in there, works. Um, I think I'm gonna go get some brandy and put a little bit of brandy in there because this is for a barbecue tomorrow, so it's for adults. Carlos Primero. I think it needs to be a little sweeter, a little more maple syrup. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little more leche condensada. Condensed milk, I don't know why I keep saying that. Um, now the cream, I'm just gonna put in one cup of cream. Okay, well there it is. The cheesecake that I made with pecans and maple syrup, which should be fantastic. A combination made in the United States of America. Okay, you guys, here's my cheesecake. What do you think of it? Oh, looking amazing. Well, good morning. The cheesecake didn't quite make it to the barbecue today, or it's not going to make it to the barbecue today because we broke into it last night because it looks so good. And there's nothing like cheesecake first thing in the morning with a cup of coffee. Mm -mm. So what is fantastic about this cheesecake is that it's the combination of the flavors with the vanilla, the brandy, the maple syrup, the dates, the pecans, and all of that together has just created just an unbelievable cheesecake. But the great thing about cream, and if you heat it, that you can infuse whatever flavors you want. So you can come up with any type of cheesecake. If you want a mint cheesecake, a lemon cheesecake, a blue cheese cheesecake, whatever, you just put that in the cream, heat it up, let it sit for a little while, and then you can make whatever flavor cheesecake you want. It's a great cream. Fat, it's a great medium to work with. And here we go. Mm. Mm. I swear to God, I don't think it's because I made it, but I think that is the best cheesecake I've eaten in my life. 
maybe because it's with the coffee, but the combination of those flavors, and then I did the dates with a little bit of sugar and the pecans and just, oh, <clears throat> unbelievable. This, I'm gonna write the recipe, so you guys have that recipe. This could be the best dish I've created on an American chef in Mallorca.